That's the strategy they need to have. Let's see if it goes in their favor. One trick is down game number one to Immortals. One win away are the Immortals from securing themselves a spot in the semifinals. It's the fourth quarter final of the day, but action has not stopped just yet. One trick versus Immortal starts now. Yeah, they're not going to invade this time. Both teams are going to kind of scale up now and play a little more passive. Vayar is going to pull that might go to make sure that it doesn't get rushed. However, he's going to fall behind in the lane farm against Wonder Woman. That's going to allow Wonder Woman to secure the Vision Bird here, which is going to let her get to level 4 a little quicker than the Lubu well. And so now we're finally going to get to see ourselves an opportunity with the Immortals and the Alice composition. Are they capable of playing that efficiently? beginnings. We've seen him on the Teamy. We've seen him on the Lumbar. We've seen him on a variety of other individuals that have the success and the support for his team. But now he's playing on something like an Alex, which has a much different play style than the tankier supports that we're used to seeing him play. Yeah, they gotta be careful. Lubu has Punish there, and they cannot contest the Vision Bird with him having Punish. Wonder Woman has Flicker, so she cannot win against that. And look, he's level 3 now because of that Vision Bird, and that's gonna put Exters a little behind in this side lane matchup. Up. And that's something they need to be careful because if your side laner opponent has punish over you, you cannot contest that vision bird. There's no way you're going to be able to get it because punish is going to win and secure that last hit every single time. But look at the poke from KZ Fox there. A very nice aggressive rotation. He has the red buff. He has the blue buff. Once you get both, you want to then make a play. It's exactly what he did and they're going to take the Spirit Sentinel right here. Oh, a little bit of a cheeky play coming out of there by beginnings. Not sure if anyone is chasing him, but indeed people are chasing him as Zelf is going to get locked Lots of damage. It's going to be just enough to get the slow. He's going to throw out the swords. They're going to do a nice little spin trick shot back, and he's going to be able to pick up that kill on the beginnings. Yeah, very nice rotation there by one trick. That's a solid three to four man rotation that we see a lot of high tier teams play. So I really like what one trick is doing here. They're doing a really good job. And as a result of getting that kill, they're going to rush the Abyssal Dragon and take it here. And that's going to put them at a okay lead so far. Um, and now what they need to do is continue to win the objective game, invade again, and continue to snowball and starve Immortals. The starving of Immortals is a potential option. However, Immortals' is aggression is definitely providing their value. Level fours are available, which means the ultimate is coming in. Bruticus has a nice little effort to get in there, but Dual Spirals will still find himself down. He's going to go down. KZ Fox being able to pick up the kill. I, M, T, AD, Zero, as well as Bobo are finding themselves low, but Hades Zero going to get just enough. Beginnings is turning into and channeling his inner bay. He is doing everything he can to support the team. Two kills in favor of Immortals. Yeah, that was such a nice endure by Aedes Hero. He did miss the skill shot, the wheel, though. He actually hit it up instead of hitting it down towards the Zill, which when you hit that, it actually slows your opponent down. It allows you to get out. He barely survived with his delivered health, but KZ Fox was able to rotate just in time to save him and secure that kill there. And now it gives them actually a good lead there. I don't know about that ultimate uh, from Dual Spirals there. You want to use the ultimate when they're low. Now is a better time to use it because it does 30% of your enemy's lost health. I think it was so, more of just to disengage, get him away, you know, kind of a deterrent across the board. But meanwhile, on the top side of the map, Bruticus is not finding his best efforts in the arena. No one is entertained at this stage in time as his tower is finding himself quite low indeed. Bobo, however, just as I say that, it might be the tower that's the struggle, but he is going to force Bobo to go back a little bit of health, he's got himself a nice little piece of regen, but it's not going to be enough as the early game pressure of Zeniel is definitely doing quite a number on Bobo's Omen. Yeah, it definitely is. Now look at that, they're posturing around. The thing is, Bobo is low here, so Spirit Sentinel is at risk as an objective because now the side of One Trick can get that. And it looks like Spirit Sentinel has been taken. Dragon is going to be in play here in four seconds, and the team is going to start rotating to Dragon because that's an important objective they cannot hand over to either side of the team, and they're going to try to contest it here. Rotations by Immortals have been a little bit delayed over onto this Dragon, something that we're not used to them seeing thus far. One trick in the meanwhile, they're going to take the act of proactivity. Abyssal Dragon is really wow. low. Everybody's going to go in. Zelf, however, will secure the victory, but he's going to lose his life in the process. As we see dual spirals going down, three members, four members. Is Bruticus going to be number five? Could be quite an option as X tiers and the rest oh of them are there. God. The clean ace at pre five minutes. They secured themselves the dragon, but the power and the strength of the Immortals team fight and the triple kill by KZ Fox secures the ace. Yeah, they get the ace. They lose a dragon, but that's fine. Getting an ace is so much more work because now you're going to get two towers. The bottom and the top. This opens up Slayer and Dragon side of the map 
and that's going to give Immortals so much more map control and pressure against One Trick. That was a crazy play there to punish them for trying to take the Dragon without any advantage. Sage Golem is going to be contested a little bit by Immortals, but with four members on the top side of the map, One Trick will be able to secure that back successfully. Five and a half minutes to thousand gold in favor of Immortals. They are rolling in their own right. Aedes Hero is going to have to be forced to use that Endure, but it's going to be just enough of a cooldown for him to oh, be able to pop wow. through. Shut down Zelf on a KZ Fox. You might have yourself five kills, but now that's going to be a one in the death count. Yeah, that was a huge kill by Zelf here. He's getting pretty fed there. 3.2k. He's not that far behind the Violet here. And if he continues to farm up, Zill is going to be a great assassin to get onto the Violet and do a lot of damage onto them. Meanwhile, you've got some wave players going into the bottom side of the map. It is the Zennial finally joining the fight, though. A solid little effort. Zelf is going to go very low, but 80's hero will be able to pick up that kill as the finally. Brutal Kiss is on the back line, but Bobo is joining the fray. 4v5 as you had Vare in the bottom side of the map. 80's hero should be able to turn always green into always gray as the gray screen <laughs> turns into his abilities. And just like that, it's going to be another oh, victory in no. the stage of Immortals, but dual spirals. A nice little revive kill. So despite the back and forth, they lost three lives, but the members of One Trick gained themselves a turret. Yeah, that's not bad there. However, 80's hero had a great smite there in the middle of the entire fight, hitting a lot of AoE damage, slowing down the enemy team to then have his have his teammates kill the team. So really good engage there. However, x -Tiers is kind of out of position here. It's gonna, he's putting himself in a really bad spot, and that he Whoa. might get caught up, but he doesn't. Zelf Very misses nice. the skill shot. Wow. It was just in range, but he predicted the right, we take the left. He zigged when he should have zagged. As 80s here goes ultimate now. Four, one, and eight. 100% kill participation. Bruticus is going to be taking a lot of damage, but he's going to jump and fly away. The Immaculate not being very Immaculate right now as the members of Immortals are showing so much pressure. Two towers in the top lane have already been taken down at seven and a half Yeah, minutes. and look at the damage there. I mean, 80s heroes, level 10. He engaged so hard and got these secu secured these kills, which is really great. He actually didn't have Spider. He actually used Spider back. And then always been again in a really tough position. He's got to watch how he's positioning because there's constantly the team is catching him out. And as a result, it's going to put a lot more map pressure against his mid lane here. He's level 8, much lower than every other member in the game thus far. Trying to create support for his team, but doesn't have the stats or the ability. Zelf is going to be able to get caught out. A nice little lasso there by X tier. Or sorry, it was the Bobo oh. Omen, but it doesn't matter. A little bit of extra damage. Look at the power that 80s here was wow. pulling out. Bruticus, the main frontliner, goes down for the count. Nothing one trick can do. They're going to disengage. They're not going to go for the high ground turret. It's going to be a safe retreat back to the dragon. Yeah, I noticed there he was using the iframes or invincibility frames, what you call it. When L'Oreal blinks, she can actually dodge the turret shots. And that's exactly what 80s hero did. He went in so hard, had a great smite on the side of the turret there, and just did so much work just killing his enemy. And this is why L'Oreal is so good into tanky warriors like Xenio. It doesn't matter if you're a tanky, she does that true damage on her ability and she has a lot of peers. So this is why L'Oreal, it just counters these tanky compositions really well along with the ADC. So now with 10 kills ahead as well as 5,000 extra gold in their pocket, Immortals are sitting healthy, counting the coins on their desks at home later because the advantages that they're creating have been plenty of the mark as they're now trying to get themselves a rotating down it is you got open high ground turrets in the top oh no as oh, well as them oh no he catches himself between the down turret and the members oh, of immortals man. look at that Zenio. tried to save him but it's not going to do much and the omen ultimate came up trapped him and they secured the kill dual spirals goes down as well to kz fox it's not the most valiant of efforts that he has created in the mid lane for this game what seemed like a he powerful can poke the turret what is kz there we go you have a you have an extra range on that on that roll, buddy. It's something something to be astounded of. Is the first high ground turret goes down in favor of the immortal six towers to one six and a half six rather just six thousand gold at pre the ten minute mark. It's been a little bit of a slower start for the immortals, but they have certainly been rolling in the kill feeds. Yeah, they gotta watch out again. Omen is so critical. They got to watch out the way that Omen is using that ultimate. He is just setting up so many plays and. They got to be very careful with how Bobo is playing there because when Omen traps someone off guard like that and locks them into that death's embrace, they're stuck for a good five seconds. So really good job by Bobo there. Bobo with a valiant effort to continue to help his team. 
is on that omen. Regardless of the fact that he only has 7 out of 16 kill participation, it's when he showed up in these fights to create the power. Zelf is going to try to use that ult to use those invincibility frames to help him out, but it's not going to matter as he's going to get sent to the grave. Bruticus as well, you are not going to be a gladiator today, my friend. You find yourself in the death. Always green is being forced to back away. Five members of Immortals are still alive. The next minion wave is coming down the mid lane, and it looks like that's going to be the next high ground turret in their favor. Yeah, this is huge. Now their super minions are going to spawn in the middle and top lane. And look at this. The Lord Ultimate is up there. She's in her smite. And look at the amount of damage that they're doing. Oh Wonder Woman secures goodness. the kill. Very well played by the side of Immortals here, and that's going to be GG. Dual Spiral is the only one left remaining, but it doesn't matter because the core will explode, and Immortals secure themselves the clean 2-0 sweep. The Immortals found themselves in a rough spot for week two, but they have come back in a fury of fire, securing themselves a 2-0 win over One Trick, and One Trick found themselves with no tricks as they go down for the count. Immortals definitely showing why they are the number two seed in America thus far. Yeah, that aggressive play there worked out so well for them. I mean, One Trick did show a little bit sign of life, though, trading, but that Abyssal Dragon play was so critical. Although One Trick secured it, they got aced, and then they lost two towers, and from there, it was an uphill battle for them. An uphill battle indeed. It was not the cleanest of efforts in some cases by the Immortals. They definitely faltered in some of those fights, but at the end of the day, it was well-executed team fights, and more rather, the understanding that objectives, despite having a lot of kills, still mattered at the end of the day. Yeah, objectives are key because once they got both Tier 1 towers on Slayer side and Dragon side, that opened up the map resulted in a lot of map control for the side of Immortals. And Bobo just dominated. He was MVP in yes. game one. And then with Omen, he just dominated his side lane. It was able to put so much pressure. And the plays and the people he was catching out, that Death's Embrace and how he was using I it to I got the shivers from that one. Was, it was, it was, was rough. It was so great. And then uh, 80s hero, everyone else was follow up. As soon as whoever he locks down, and that's how you play Omen, because you're stuck for five seconds, man. You can't do much. There's not you're much. Sitting duck. When you're sitting when you've got When you're chained to the ground, there's nowhere you can really go. But... Let's go ahead and take a look at that domination that the Immortals were able to create. It was the, if I'm not mistaken, the fastest ace that we've had in the Valorant series oh, so wow, far. Really? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get a check on that statistic. I'll make sure that uh, we have that. I'll throw, I'll throw it up on Twitter a little bit later if it, uh, if it ends up being, <laughs> being something of accurate sense. Hashtag Valor series, mind you. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at this and and see what the power uh, that they had. Yeah, you can see they're trying to get Dragon. Everyone's on it. Look at the collapse from the side of Immortal. This is, mind you, a 4v4. And Zenio actually comes in, but not in time. He needed to ult a lot sooner. And because he ulted a little later, it turned the fight. It did not turn the fight in their favor. And